In the last lecture, we saw how to calculate the total energy of a discrete time signal and we also saw the condition for a discrete time signal to be an energy signal. And now in this lecture, we will solve few problems. In the first problem, the discrete time signal xn is equal to 1 over 3 power n multiplied to un and we are required to calculate the total energy of this discrete time signal. So let's move on to the solution of this problem. We need to calculate the total energy E and we know it is equal to summation N equal to minus infinity to plus infinity mod the discrete time signal whose total energy we want to calculate which is xn whole square xn is equal to this so we can write the total energy is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity mod 1 by 3 power n multiplied to un whole square we know un will be equal to 0 for the integer values of n from minus infinity to minus 1 and it will be 1 for the integer values of n from 0 to plus infinity and as we are multiplying 1 over 3 power n by un we will have 0 as the values from minus infinity to minus 1 for the integer values of n Therefore, we can change the range of summation. Instead of performing the summation from minus infinity to infinity, we can perform the summation from 0 to infinity. We can perform the summation from 0 to infinity and have 1 over 3 power n instead of 1 over 3 power n un. And we know 1 over 3 power n will always be positive. Therefore, we can remove the modulus and we will have the total energy equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity or you can write plus infinity as we are writing plus infinity from the beginning. And instead of this, I will write 1 over 3 power 2n or I can write 1 over 9 power n. 1 over 9 power n and this will give us the total energy equal to 1 when n is equal to 0 we will start from 0 to plus infinity so the first term will be 1 when we have n equal to 0 then we have 1 over 9 plus 1 over 9 whole square and so on now look closely to this sequence and you will find we are having a geometric progression. This is a geometric progression and this time we are having the sum of infinite GP as the total energy and we know the sum of infinite GP which is the total energy is equal to A1 which is the first term and it is equal to 1 in our case divided by 1 minus r where r is the common ratio and it is equal to 1 by 9 but we can use this only when the common ratio r is less than 1 but greater than minus 1 common ratio is equal to 1 by 9 in this case which is definitely less than 1 and greater than minus 1 and hence we can use this formula so the total energy i am writing here the total energy which is equal to the sum of infinite terms we are having here is equal to a1 divided by 1 minus r a1 is 1 so we have 1 divided by 1 minus r r is 1 by 9 when you simplify this you will get the total energy or sum of infinite terms equal to 9 divided by 8 and the unit will be joules so this is the answer the total energy of xn which is equal to this is equal to 9 by 8 
now we will move on to the second problem and here in this case we have the discrete time signal xn equal to delta n this means we have unit impulse as xn and we know unit impulse we have unit impulse which is equal to 0 at minus infinity and it will remain 0 up to minus 1 and then when n is equal to 0 delta n will be equal to 1 and again from 1 to plus infinity it will remain 0 so we can write delta n is equal to 1 at n equal to 0 and therefore calculation of total energy is very easy it is equal to mod 1 whole square we have only one non-zero sample all the other samples are equal to zero so we will take the modulus and square this non-zero sample and we will finally have the total energy equal to one joule now we will move on to the third problem in the third problem discrete time signal xn is equal to 1 plus j when n is equal to 0 it is equal to 1 minus j when n is equal to 1 it is equal to minus 2 when n is equal to 2 and it is equal to 2 when n is equal to 3 and you need to calculate the total energy of this signal it is very easy to calculate the total energy we have seen in the previous lecture that how to calculate the total energy when the samples are given like this therefore this particular problem is homework for you calculate the total energy of this signal and once you have your answer post it in comment section now before I end this lecture let's talk about one very important point according to this point there is no effect of time shifting time reversal time expansion which is also known as interpolation and amplitude reversal on the total energy of the discrete time signal let's try to understand this by the help of one example in the last lecture we took one discrete time signal xn equal to 1 2 3 4 and 5 and after calculating its total energy we found it to be 55 joules now if you perform the time shifting operation and have a new signal let's say x n minus 1 then the total energy will remain same that is 55 joules and if you perform the time reversal this means you have x minus n then again the energy will not change and remain 55 joules and if you perform the next operation which is time expansion operation and have a new signal x n by 2 again the total energy will remain the same the fourth operation given here is amplitude reversal so perform amplitude reversal and you will again get the same total energy but if you perform if you perform the time scaling operation which is of type time compression then the total energy will change and in this case when you have x3n the total energy will be equal to 17 joules so remember this important point because it will help you solve multiple choice questions in exam so this is all for this particular lecture don't forget to solve this homework problem and once you have the total energy post its value in the comment section.